this is John Kolo with GrowingYourGreens.com through another exciting episode for you. And what we're doing today is actually I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a tour of my front yard garden. Instead of a lawn, I have a whole nice garden that I'm going to show you guys and show you guys what I'm growing in the Yo, summertime man, here. Yo, man, I what? got minerals for you, What's dude. up, man? I got some rock dust for you, buddy. All right, cool. Well, new CBD. Hey, Josh just here got here, go. man. Let's, uh, let's see what he's up to. All right, so now I'm in my garden and got rudely interrupted by Josh today because I'm planting out my peppers and actually just planted some cucumbers and getting ready for the summer season. Hopefully you guys are planting out too. Hopefully you guys aren't still stuck in the snow somewhere. That would <laughs> suck. But anyways, Joshua, why did you interrupt me on my important planting day? You know how I get into it. Well, I mean, don't forget to mention those floods that are going on in Texas right now. Oh, That's yeah. That's pretty gnarly out there, you know, for real. My heart goes out to all you Texas farmers. I just can't imagine. Can you just send us out here in Cali, you know, some of your rain? That would be nice, huh? Cool. So why, why did I interrupt him? Because I've got a hot new amount announcement here. It's the gold standard in rock dust, our new CBD mineral. Why do you think I interrupted you, John? I, don't I know, know you're a rock dust slut, and I know you want this stuff, man. And we brought you 2,000 pounds for your garden. <laughs> yeah, you guys saw it on the truck. So you want to turn your garden into concrete? I've got <laughs> enough for you to do it. So, Josh, what's so new and different about this? CBD minerals are you just trying to sell my view or something else man <laughs> come on I mean last video like we had a compost versus compost tea versus rock this video right, and yeah. like Josh was on the side of the compost team now he's here like you know, doing his CBD rock dust minerals. What's wow, up with come that? on, you're just bitter because T1, didn't it, folks? Huh? The T1. Yeah, that's why you're back with the rock dust because you <laughs> so, know yeah. that's the answer. Right, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, you know, we got sick of trucking rock dust all over the country when we found something that is apparently the gold standard of rock dust right here in our backyard in the South Bay of Northern California. And so we consulted with this guy, uh, Tom Vanacore, rock dust local. And he turned us onto this stuff, and we've been mighty impressed. We looked at the spectral analysis on it, you know, the uh, apparently the paramagnetic energy that's being infused into soil by these minerals is significantly better than anything else out there. I'm a healthy skeptic. I still believe in a variety of substances, um, in a variety of minerals. Those of you who are lucky enough to get a good deal on azomite out there, if your local nurseries, your local distributors have that stuff at a decent price, you should jump all over that. Same goes for the um, the glacial, the what is that one called? The Canadian Gaia. Green. Gaia. Yeah, there you go. The Gaia Green, excellent product. Um, you know, we sell the mainstays. We got the azomite SR, the sustained release, which has had the molasses bound to it so it's released slowly over the whole course of a growing season of course we sell the cascade minerals and we love the cascade we were using it until we discovered the new california basalt as our primary mineral of choice in our boogie base you can check with one of john's prior videos where i sat right here in front of his pepper beds and discussed how you can make your own excellent world-class boogie base clone recipe um, and why do we pick CBD? Simple, because it's local and we believe in doing things locally and also because it has a superior mineral chart. It has a true frequency unlike any other rock dust out there. But like I said, I believe in using a variety of inputs and so, you know, if you can, ideally, use a bit of each. Yeah, I mean, I asked my friend, you know, Don Weaver, who I consider my rock dust expert, and I'm like, Don, what's better, azomite or the Gaia Green? And you know, he's like, well, mix them both up. So use half as much and mix them both and you have the best spectrum. Because I mean, exactly. the goal for me is to, with the rock dust, is not like rock dust is the answer, like I may have said last video. But you know, adding trace minerals to your garden soil is the answer. And I'm co quite confident in that the plants respond when they get some of these unique, rare trace elements, mm -hmm. you know, that are just not normally found in the soil. And furthermore, then, you know, the plants will take them up if everything is happening right. And then we'll get them in our bodies as well so that we could be healthier. In addition, there's also new and different flavor components. You know, the food that I've grown in my garden, I haven't met anybody else that's been able to rival most of the stuff that I grow in the taste. And I believe that's due to the rock dust and the micro microbial matrix in the soil. So besides just the trace minerals, Josh, this new CBD, it's called California Basalt, Basalt Deposit. Deposit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a, a vintage stone flower. 
Um, it's a nice, fine, powdery consistency that I really like a lot, but you have to be sure you wear a dust mask because it's not good to breathe any fine particulate. The main thing I like about it is the, the paramagnetic, Josh. So tell me about this paramagnetic charge. I know like big grow heads are all into this paramagnetic stuff and some people think it's all hocus pocus it's like got the chemtrails. But you know, what is this paramagnetic It's got the stuff? uber, the uber electrical paramagnetic frequency that's going to imbue your flowers with a superior magnetic resonance. That the electrical frequency that's put out that is going to make the microbes go into a feasting frenzy. Blah, 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 blah. I don't know. On a visceral level, let's discuss each of these products. I mean, you asked me, you said, come on, show my viewers. The, the differences here. Yeah, I want to show you guys the difference back. in the rock dust here. So why don't you talk about each one of these real quick, Josh? I mean, All right. This is the Cascade Minerals you guys can see there. And look at the nice color on that. Nice and dark. It's real dark. It's dark, rich, earthy goodness. Cascade Basalt Minerals from a true original volcanic deposit from actually Yellowstone, apparently, when it erupted and deposited its goodness all over huge amounts of the United States. So, I mean, the beautiful thing about this vintage stone flower is there are veins of it all over the country. And uh, Tom Vanacor, who I consider a true, you know, another Don Weaver, a mineral meister. Wow. He is the man who has sourced this stuff. And so this stuff has a, a little more gold color to it. Apparently it's richer in silicon. I have not had a chance to really study and analyze the uh, mineral spectral charts and their different ratios between all of these products. I believe that they are all good for your soil. The main reason that I am pushing our new CBD is simple. It's local. We believe in being a rock dust local vendor. And Tom Vanacore, who knows a lot more about mineral frequencies and their valuable inputs to your soil and what they do for your soil microbial life and the biology for your plants to then absorb, um, he's the one that sourced it for us and we trust him implicitly, i.e., you know, I'm very passionate about compost tea. I'm sure you've seen me blabbing on about my one-stop shop Boogie Brew tea before. And it's the same with these experts on rock dust. You know, Tom Vanacore is as passionate about his rock dust and the mineral profiles in it as I am about my compost tea. So we really trust his uh, intelligence and how he was able to source this product. And then when we found out it's right here from the South Bay in Northern California, we were all over it because this is an answer to our dreams. We've had a lot of problems uh, sourcing enough rock dust for you guys from both Azami and Cascade. So it's a natural step of lowering our carbon transportation footprint and giving you a slightly better deal on a locally sourced supposedly superior rock dust. Now, is it better than the others? The jury is out there on that. I know it's a superb product. The Mineral Meister, like Tom Vanacore, certainly wouldn't put his, um, you know, his, his weight behind this product if he didn't know that it was indeed a, a very superior mineral product. Cool, man. So this is a basalt and it's a nice fine texture. Really like that a lot. It's like really fine, like almost like a flower. So this really is more available uh, for the microbes in the soil. So Josh, is this like water soluble and could use this in a hydro setup? Uh, there is no such thing as a truly water soluble rock dust. None of them have higher than a nine or a 10 percentile range true solubility factor. However, you could certainly shake it up into a milk and introduce it through your irrigation system. And because it is so finely ground, it won't just sit there on the top of your soil and do nothing. You can introduce it into the plants uh, initial top inch of topsoil and watch it go to work for you quicker than your more granulated products. However, we also believe in a healthy amount of granulated products because uh, that's why I like the Azomite sustained release and I like the granulated cascade, all right, because that gives your plants, um, your soil, I mean, some BSA, bacterial surface area. Now, if you think about it, rocks break down in the soil uh, at different levels of degradation. So you're gonna have your finely, finely ground, super sub-sand sized particles of rock that are being digested by the microbes in your soil. And you're also gonna have your pebble-sized consistency, chunkier pieces of rock. And all of those are crucial on a, um, 
on a structural level to build a healthy soil, on a frequency level, on a level of inducing the correct paramagnetic charge. This is an area of science of which I profess to know nothing, but I do know that it works, all right? I always talk too much, but I never talk poop. All of these three products work. It's difficult to say which one works the best. We're very excited about our, again, supposed gold standard of rock dust, this CBD, but we also still are true believers in products like the Cascade Minerals and, of course, your old faithful, your trusty Azomite, as well as some of the other ones that are out there, like the Gaia Green and even the Accelerite and so on. They are all valuable inputs. It's really up to you to go out there and source these products as cheaply as possible. We stand horrified by the um, lack of these products, their lack of availability in the general marketplace. They are ubiquitous here on the West Coast. We're spoiled in the 707 grow code with all of these you know, at our disposal. But for a good chunk of you, your viewers out there, John, in, in America, you can't even get this yeah. stuff at your local nurseries. <laughs> We're really spoiled. We can get it at any local feed store as am I, all right? Uh, Cascade is now distributed, I'm proud to say, by um, Sunlight Supply, who are the biggest uh, hydroponic uh, reseller distributor company. And, um, you know, Gaia, it's, that one's a little tougher to find, but that one's a good product. You know, they're all really good. Accelerate, I don't know, I think uh, Bloomington Wholesale Garden Supply, BWGS, carries them. So the good news is these, these things are being discovered and they are being picked up by bigger and bigger distributors. But it's still the tip of the iceberg. And you really need to insist at your local nurseries, your local garden centers, even your local Home Depots, your local Ace Hardware stores. Hey, why is it you sell all this chemical crap, right? You know, Grow More, are you hearing me? By the way, Grow More just bought out General Hydroponics. Grow More are a Monsanto company. So our old faithful 707 Grow Code uh, Hydro Company, you know, the, the vintage uh, cottage level sized industry in Sonoma County for so long, they're now owned by the Mighty M. Wow, that's crazy, man. Yeah. So, so why did you decide to name this CBD, Josh? Because well. <laughs> CBD stands for something else besides California basalt deposit, right? Well, CBD, as we all know, stands for the healthiest, what I believe is the healthiest component of the marijuana plant, um, the cannabinoids, which every cell in our body has and what's called an endocannabinoid system. Every cell has its own nervous and intelligent system. There's a brain in each cell of your body, whether it's in the blood or in the liver or in your muscle tissues or even your brain tissues. It doesn't matter. Every cell in 99.9% .9 of humans and mammals and, 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 and warm-blooded species in, in, in the world have an, what's called an endocannabinoid system. And so the CBD, the cannabinoid, uh, that's the most uh, important component of all the valuable um, you know, attributes are all the valuable components in the marijuana plant and the hemp plant family. And actually CBD doesn't get you high at all, but I just couldn't resist, you know, the play on the words when Tom Vanacore, my mineral meister on the East Coast, who had sourced this vintage stone flower right here in California, told me what it was, that it was indeed a true California basalt deposit. I went, bingo baby, California basalt deposit. There's our CBD minerals sourced, as you can see quite proudly, from our own home here in the Caliwana Republic. But now, what does Caliwana mean, Josh? Well, come on. I mean, I leave that up to you. Caliwana, Flana, Marijuana, I mean, Mary Jane, uh, Caliwana. Hey, don't forget, we started it. Colorado and Oregon and Washington, uh, D.C., and now Alaska, too, have all legalized it. So, I mean, it's a shame that the Caliwana Republic didn't do it in 2010. A uh, little too much money injected into the say no to the legalization campaign by the uh, industrial uh, prison complex and the mad money that all those prison guards unions. Otherwise, California already would have passed it in 2010. You know, so. I'm getting ready for 2016, John. Uh, it's alive and well in California. We, we're fully expecting legalization to finally occur six years too late. Um, it should have happened in 2010 with Prop 19. It's going to happen in 2016 for sure. And so, you know, we have a CBD product. It's a CBD mineral. All right, Josh. So the question is, will the CBD minerals make your THC and your CBD and your cannabis plants go wild? I mean, absolutely. Of course it's going to. The question is, will it make them go any wilder than using an Azomite or a Cascade or a Gaia's or an Accelerite? Um, those, I think I just listed the top five in the rock dust industry. 
Uh, we'll see. You know, the jury's out. I would love to give you all the chance to use all of these products and give us your own feedback. Cool, cool. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to start using the CBD stuff. I haven't even started yet because it just got here, so I'm going to get a whole bunch of this stuff. Well, we just donated him <laughs> a 2,000-pound super tote. Actually, that's courtesy of Tom Vanacore. He he actually overshipped us a couple of totes. God bless him. So money's like manure. Spread it, Keep spreading it around, Tom. Thank you. You know, it'll yield for you later. All right, yeah, man. So I'm going to be trying this stuff and let you guys know how it works. But if you guys want to try it, I've negotiated with Josh a special deal. This is the Once again. lowest price rock dust delivered, right? Well, yeah, we're doing 50 pounds of CBD only at $44.95 delivered. That's on the GYG page. Um, the standard price, $49.95. All right, Josh. So besides just the CBD rock dust, if somebody wants to get that, you know, I advocate using a lot of different rock dust. You know, use as many kinds as you want. I think at one point I put like six kinds. Maybe I could now do a seventh kind in my garden. So I like, I probably have the most rock dust of any guy, <laughs> except maybe Tom, I don't know. But I mix all different kinds, man. I'm like the master brewmeister rock dust guy. But I'll have another kind. But I want you guys to be able to have access to all the different kinds to mix in your garden because I truly believe, you know, that's the best. I don't know if this is the best, that's the best. Who cares? You know, in this in this society we live in, it's always right, wrong, good, right. bad. Yeah. And I think there's like a, a spectrum, like shades of gray, 50 shades of gray or whatever, you know. <laughs> so shades of rock dust. We got the black, right. we got the whatever kind yeah, of We got pink, the white got here, the, yeah. We got the one know, with the, the bentonite in it, yep. Yeah. And then we got the gold. But yeah, yeah I mean, so use all three. So Absolutely. for those of you guys that want to get in on all three different rock dust, Josh put together a special package for you guys. So Josh, what is the special package with all, with all three rock dust? Hold on, let me correct him there. He requested that I put together a special package. And actually, you all have been asking me to do a box that has different minerals in it. So we're calling it the Rock Box Medley, and we're happy to do it for you, John, and for all of you, of course. So give you a bit of each. I mean, don't forget, the azomite, you know, it has a lot of silica, uh, silica in it. It's a bentonite-based, a true uh, clay-based rock dust. Then you have your basalt rock dust right here. Then you have your more finely ground, uh, more gold, copper-tinged basalt from California. So definitely by having all three of these products together in one box, you are truly giving your garden a medley. You've got three different grades here, not just of different mineral frequencies and colors on these minerals, but also the uh, chunkiness and the lack of on the different ones. So you've got your true vintage stone flower, as Tom himself uh, bequeathed the real name of the CBD minerals. All right, so it's his his gold standard, his vintage mineral flower. Then you've got your Chunkadupolis, your sustained released azomite, with the, which is actually, this is a real clever product. What they do is they take the original azomite, then they spray it down with the molasses, and they put it in a base of their bentonite clay, which is actually what the azomite is sourced from. So you've got a, a, di a different frequency from that. Um, it's nice because it gets released slowly over the course of the season. The microbes are gonna keep digesting it. It's not gonna get all used up within a couple of months and then of course you've got the real chunky granulated and very dark Oregon basalt which you can clearly see there is indeed quite a color difference and and that's how I like to look at products you know I don't sit there and analyze them with a microscope the best compost tea is the one that smells the best and has the most the, the flavor and visceral response to it so by introducing you know there's the rainbow diet hey <laughs> give give your soil you know the rainbow mineral banquet you know it's only going to do better than just trying to give it a single charge with one mineral so josh what on this uh medley box how many pounds of each one comes and what's the price and what's the total weight Oh, yeah. All right, well, he negotiated that with me, so, I mean, he already knows, but I'll, I'll spell it out to you. You're actually going to get not one, but two. Oh, God. So you're going to get over 25 pounds of the CBD minerals, the California basalt deposit, because that's our new baby, and we're very proud of it. You're going to get 12 and a half pounds of azomite. Oh, God, it's heavy. And you're going to get 12 and a half pounds of the Cascade minerals. You're going to get a 50-pound box with all four of these, four of these bags, Two of them the CBD, one the azomite sustained release, and one the granulated basalt from Oregon, the Cascade, all in one box, and the price is gonna be $44.95.
Wow, that's under a less dollar than a dollar a pound, a pound for all of these products delivered as a medley, as a rock dust banquet, as a mineral frequency smorgasbord, as a buffet of different rock dusts for the microbes to consume and feast on in your soil. Absolutely, wow. that's cheaper than some places I just go to buy the rock dust in the store. I've seen you because I've priced around. Right. Sometimes they sell it for more than that, and then you got to get in your truck and drive down and pick it up. This way, you just go online and order it. It comes right to your door. So Josh, you know, if people want to know how much of this stuff to use, you know, how much do you recommend to use? Because I recommend. Oh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Time for our little boogie battles here on how much to use. Well, as Don Weaver says, if you're dealing with a serious mineral deficient soil to begin with, then you can go ahead and charge it initially with as much as one pound per square foot, John. Um, but after that, on a maintenance dose, you really only need about a pound for every 10 square feet. Right, yeah, I mean, you guys don't have to do one pound per one square foot. That could get really expensive if you have a lot of space. So, you know, you could do, you know, I don't know, one pound for two square feet. <laughs> there you go. There you go. That, that's a good that'll compromise. Half your, that'll half your cost right there. Yep. Or minimally, you know, uh, one pound per 10 square feet, minimal application. But I would recommend more because you can't really burn with this rock dust. So, Josh, what do you say to the people that says rock dust doesn't work? Uh, I say go ahead and try it yourself. Success leaves clues. Follow the clues, all right? Forget about science or pseudoscience or bogus science or even real science. We don't, we still don't know. Most soil biologists will admit this to you. The ones who've gone to the finest ag schools. We only know 1%, barely the tip of the iceberg, of what's really going on in the soil biology beneath our feet. You go stand in a virgin redwood forest, like up there at my favorite place where I want my ashes to be scattered up in Humboldt Redwood State Park, which has more um, life forms per square meter than any other place on Earth, eight times higher than the next densest uh, biology place, which would be the Amazon rainforest. So we don't know anything about what really has produced these miraculous conditions, but we do know that this stuff works. Anecdotal evidence is so overwhelmingly powerful. Don't believe me? Go on Amazon. Look at the reviews for something as benign, as simple, and easy to obtain as azomite. Then it only goes to the next level when you start introducing things like the cascade minerals. And the CBD, we're already seeing results ourselves. We have people, when we add it to the tea, the microbes go nuts. They love this stuff. You can boost your compost tea with this stuff. And it, it, it works. Success leaves clues. Just follow the clues. I mean, I totally agree. I mean, I, get, I, I think you guys should always experiment with everything in life. Even if you're told something, try to do it. You know, I have friends that are trying to grow mangoes in Las Vegas and actually is going to be successful, hopefully. Wow. So, I mean, you could do anything you want if you put your mind to it and take the proper steps, right? And I truly believe, because I, I've, I've done it myself, this stuff does make a difference and it can make a difference for your garden. It's so important to me that you guys start using some of these minerals to get these back in the soil so that you guys can have a higher quality food, but not just a higher quality food, food that tastes better, food that's more pest, bug, and disease resistant because Absolutely. a healthier crop is gonna get attacked less. So, you know, if, if the more you could, you guys could use things like the compost tea or the rock dust, get it in your garden and create healthier plants, you know, uh, the bugs and insects, the disease, they're gonna go to your neighbor's house, you know, and let them go all over there. Yeah. Then your neighbors will say, hey, what are you doing? Look, <laughs> this, this, yeah, what are you doing? I mean, this stuff really does work. We've seen it work in your garden, even though I believe maybe you've gone overboard with it. <laughs> so here I am, the hypocrite, who in the last video accused you of trying to turn all your beautiful grow boxes into concrete by using this much rock dust, and now I'm offering you a, a free super tote of our new CBD gold standard of minerals. So I guess, you know, take that for what you will. Uh, but we know the stuff works, especially in combination with a good compost tea program, lots of worm castings, lots of compost in your soil. You can't go wrong, and it's so cheap. It's so affordable compared to any other method of horticulture. This stuff works at the lowest possible price. I mean, I totally agree with that. You guys definitely need to mineralize your soil, whether that's with the rock dust or using like a sea solids, like the C90 product that Josh also offers, or even one of the other different C products that are out there. Yeah, you only need about 5% um, on your sea minerals versus 95% on your ter terra, your, your terra origin, your land-based minerals, all right? The C90 is a positively charged ion. 
all right? It is a salt. It will penetrate cell wall tissue. The, uh, most of the terraformed minerals, they might have some positive charge, but they're mostly negatively charged. They have a colloidal charge. That means they will generally tend to pull the cell wall tissue and not penetrate it. Therefore, you can actually go overboard with your terraform minerals. You can use too much rock dust and it won't hurt your plants the same way as using too much C90 or C mineral, C salt. So we generally recommend 5 to 15%. So as much as 15% on your C90 and 85, as little as 85% and up to 95% on your land formed, your terra origin, um, bentonite clay, uh, momerillonite, that would be the accelerite, which we unfortunately don't sell, but that is a great product nonetheless. On your basalt deposit minerals, a volcanic mineral is not going to penetrate plant cell wall tissue and damage it. So you can actually go overboard on that, on all this stuff, and it really won't hurt anything, unless you're like John, and you're a total rock dust Nazi, and you want to use enough of it to turn your, your, your grow beds to concrete. But that's a different story. None of my grow beds are concrete. You can check out <laughs> any true. of them here. And the thing I want to say is that you have to really be careful with some of the ocean derived right. minerals with the salts. I have had, you know, some of my viewers come up to me and said, John, I use that C90 or other products on or the, the market. liquid versions, you know, right? Too much, too much, yep. too often, and my plants went out. So that's why, you know, I like to stick with what's easy, what you can't really mess up on. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the rock dust. You well, know, I mean, with, with, this, with the C90, uh, what I like to tell people is don't forget the Egyptians used to pray to a god called a god called Happy, H-A-P-Y, one P, and he was their flood god. And they asked him to please allow the Mediterranean to create a strong lunar, you know, moon gravity uh, bound uh, tidal surge just once per growing season to give their whole... Um, you know, rice bowl growing region, their whole Nile River Delta watershed ag region, a, a salt bath, a once a year seawater bath. And that created unique electrical frequencies that none of these terraformed rock dust minerals that were already naturally present from, you know, millions of years of the, the Nile depositing, you know, ground up rock. It created an, a new electrical frequency. They didn't know anything about this, you know, what that, what the science of it, just like we still don't some 3,000 years later. But nonetheless, they knew enough to know that, aha, uh -huh, that once a year, that's very infrequent application of those highly charged seawater minerals created unique benefits in the electrical fields that the microbes in the soil would then feast on. All right, so we actually do offer to any of you that want to upgrade this $45 box you can add for a couple bucks more, eight ounces of C90, all right? So you really don't need much more than that. And we do, that will actually fit into the box. So you're still not paying extra for shipping. If you do want some extra C90 along with this smorgasbord of variety of frequencies of terraformed minerals. Awesome, Josh. So Josh, if somebody wanted to get this deal, what's the website they need to go to? Come on, you all know it by now. <laughs> Boogiebrew.net forward slash GYG. You're only going to get that sub $1 a pound delivered price on all of these together. Our best ever deal on a rock dust box, on what we call the rock box medley for $44.95 for 50 true pounds of all three of what are world-class products, especially our new CBD minerals. That's almost as crazy as crazy at these prices. It's insane. <laughs> that is getting pretty crazy. <laughs> thanks to you beating us up. We're getting sick of all these rock boxes. We're throwing rocks at all these rock boxes. But hey, what are we? A compost tea company or a rock dust vendor? Well, why not be both and try to make the best deals available to the public on both? And that's what we're doing for yeah, you, Josh, for your I, viewers. I want to thank you, you know, for uh, bringing in the rock dust. Because I know, you, I mean, Josh has brought in a, a bunch of these products for you guys. Because I'm like, Josh. You got you have a company you already ship stuff, right? Well, hey, can you ship some of this stuff? You know, for my viewers there, because actually this is at my request. I met Josh years ago, and I'll put a link down to the original video oh, below. The it's one stop shop, no. But um, anyways, I met Josh years ago, and he had a compost tea company selling compost tea, and you know, I talk about rock dust all the time. I mean, even going back five years, I've been talking about rock dust since the day I put in my garden and like out in this stuff, and a lot of you guys could not get it, so I requested that Josh bring in rock dust and he figured out how to do that and he makes it available sells it to you i mean nobody else i know 
will bag it up and box it up in these flat rate packages and have problems with them exploding at the post office and the post office people going off on them. He takes all that shit yep. for you guys so that you guys can get the rock dust because, you know, it is that important for me that you guys have the necessary tools to grow the highest quality food and rock dust for me is simply one of them. So. Thank you, Josh, for uh, doing that for yep. my viewers, man. You're very I welcome. appreciate that. I hope welcome. you guys appreciate he busts his ass. <laughs> you know, we do. We getting do. this out to you. And he, maybe he's even built some muscle from carrying all these, rock these boxes, uh, 50 you know? pound yeah. boxes of rock dust that's being shipped around the whole country. All right, Josh, so I want to thank you for actually showing up and uh, giving me a whole super tour to see what even rolls. I'll be sure to be using it and doing a lot of tests and trials to see how it is. And if you guys want to get this deal, with Josh, whether you want to get all CBD or the combination box, which is the one I would recommend, hey, check that link down below. It's boogiebrew.net slash GYG. For me, I gotta get back to gardening, man. The sun's going down. I still got a shit ton of stuff to do, like I always do every day in my garden. All right, Josh, so thanks a lot for coming by, man. Yep, you're welcome. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, please be sure to check my other episodes. I have over a thousand episodes now on gardening also be sure to subscribe if you're not already and be sure to like this video if you liked it and uh, you know uh, be sure to tune in for the next episode that's coming up real soon uh, once again this is John Kohler with growingyourgreens.com we'll see you next time and until then remember keep on growing, growing. all right this is John Kohler with growingyourgreens.com to do another exciting episode for you and this episode is probably my last episode from Hawaii so a hui ho <laughs> and uh, that's because I'm actually headed out on a plane tonight and uh, this is the property I rented actually for the week, uh, you know, uh, VBRO or 